Hey guys, it's Paul with the Saltwater Edge, and today we're going to be talking about my spring surf casting setup. Right. Here we're going to go over my entire surf casting setup from head to toe, beginning with my boots. I like to fish with the Sims G3 guide boots with felt soles and I have the Grip Stud 1800s in them. These boots offer plenty of ankle support, they're very lightweight, and the studs can rip through just about any seaweed or barnacles that may be on the rocks. As you guys may have seen earlier, uh, this year I'm fishing the Sims Freestone waders. These are new to me this year and I'm really liking them so far. They're a medium weight wader, so I'm not getting cold on the colder nights. I have a nice hand warmer pocket. I don't know if you can see, but it's got a little bit of fleece material in there, along with a zippered pouch for a phone, wallet, fishing license, whatever else I may want to keep dry and under my surf top. Uh, for my surf top, I'm fishing the Stormer surf top. I like it for a variety of reasons. It has a nice cuff down on the waist, so the waves aren't coming up from underneath. We have some uh, cuffs on the wrists, so your arms and sleeves aren't getting wet on the inside, and then you also have some cuffs around the neck as well. Uh, it does have a nice handy pouch on the front, you can store whatever you'd like, and a secondary way to warm your hands as well. Uh, my surf belt is a Z-belt. I really like fishing it. It's really wide with a padded lumbar support, so I have no more back pain uh, after long hours of casting with a heavy bag over my shoulder. There's also two webbed straps. You can put your bag right on this so you can slide it around your waist quite easily without twisting your whole jacket and belt around. On the other side you'll have a, a smaller strap for your either boga grip, pliers, a knife, whatever you would like to have on your belt. Yeah. So the pliers I like to use are the 6 inch titanium van stall pliers. They fit in your hand perfectly, they're nice and lightweight and you never have to worry about them uh, corroding in the salt water or anything like that. They also come with a nice leather sheath and you can attach a nice lanyard to it so you never have to worry about losing it. I like to use the Andy Mono for my leader material. I also like when they're in these spools because I can leave it outside my bag for easy access. Anytime you see a little nick or any abrasion on your line, it's always a good idea to switch it out and this makes it much easier for me. My springtime plug bag is a 3-tube Dark Star bag. One of the reasons I really like this bag is because it has a removable front pouch. It makes it much easier if I want to go uh, quick and light. I can remove this. It has belt loops right on the back and has plenty of room on the inside. Inside the front pouch right now I have a bunch of bucktails and rubbers. Uh, so they have these bucktail slots. I really like the Andrus Jetty Casters, uh, ranging from about 3 quarter ounce up to 2 ounces depending on where I'm fishing. I also like the Jack Splurple ones with some soft rubbers on the back. What else do we have? We have some Fish Stacks Super Snacks, Joe Bag's Patriot Fish, and Gravity Tackle Eels. I feel like with this lineup of rubbers, you fully match whatever bait fish may be around, ranging from uh, smaller herring up to, or smaller herring, uh, sand eels up to larger eels as well. In my main pouch, I have all of the plugs that I like to use during the uh, spring run. First and foremost, I really enjoy fishing darters. I find that they mimic squid really well, which is a primary forage for the striped bass in our area. My go-to lure is always going to be a Super Strike Zigzag. I like the dark colors primarily, but there's always room for a white one as well when the squid are around. Similar to a darter, what I like to use is on rougher nights are the North Bar Bottle Darters. These dig extremely well in current and big surf, and they cast pretty decently into the wind as well. Next type of lure that I like to fish would either be red fins or SP minnows. I think there's a place for both of them. The red fins swim really shallow, and you can wake them on the surface if you fish them slow enough. And then the SP minnows cast awesome for such a small profile when there's sand eels and smaller bait around as well. And the last plug type that I like to carry are metal lips. This one in particular I really like. It casts really well for its size 
and for a metal lip in general, and you can swim it over a variety of ways. And that finishes up the types of plugs that I like to carry in the springtime. Uh, no matter what time of the year it is, the light that I like to use is a Princeton Tech Amp 1L. Um, I like this, the battery seems to last a while. I never have any problem with water getting inside it and ruining the light. And with a nice lanyard, it sits nice and tight on your neck and you don't have to worry about it swinging around. As you guys saw earlier, this is my springtime surf casting setup. We have a 10 foot lemon glass GSB. I really like this plank because it's a moderate action, pretty forgiving can handle anything from small swimmers up to larger metal lips if the bite calls for it. I also like to use a Vanstall 250. I'm left-handed, so my options were a little limited. Ideally, it'd be a 200, but this reel can handle everything from schoolies up to the springtime cows. All right, here's everything you guys can see in my spring surf casting setup, from the boots that I wear, the waders, dry top, to the gear that I fish. Thanks for watching, and if you have any questions, comments, please leave them below. Let us know what you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching.